All right, Shalom. Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem, I was shy, by Hashem, Kakodash, the Lord, the Apostles, and Elves of the Great Millstone. Peace, best of hope for elect. This has been another edifying lesson dealing with the uh, marketing system that's soon to come, pursuing the Revelation, the 13th chapter. And uh, this is from uh, the Daily Guardian, where it says uh, implants to restore sight to the blind. Brain implants can restore sight to the blind. All right. Um, let's read here. It says, a team of researchers from the Innovation Center, Russian Skolkovo, present the audience with a device that could change the lives of blind people forever. The device named Elvis, short for electronic vision, uh, electronic vision in Spanish, consists of a neural implant a headband with two cameras and a microcomputer. Uh, it says a microchip implanted in, uh, in the brain stimulates the visual cortex, which gives a blind person the impression that they can see. The microcomputer then analyzes the images captured by the headband mounted cameras in real time and defines them with the help of artificial intelligence. Finally, it sends back it sends the data back to the implant. Okay. Um, It says now, uh, I'm going to jump down. It says, so far researchers are testing the implant in lab mice. However, when they get the proper permission, they plan to install it on 10 volunteers. Anyone who is blind has the opportunity to participate in the clinical trial of the device scheduled for the years 2023. All right, 2023 to 2026. It is simply necessary. Uh, all right, so... That's pretty much it on that. A um, few scriptures come to mind. Uh, actually, I'll go to a scripture because where it talks about the uh, miracles that this system is going to do. Revelation 13 and 14, it says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live and this is going to the revived Roman Empire which is this system of NATO, America the EU or what they call the western world and their technological advancements uh, this is in this is a part of the miracles and the means that they want to use technology to basically give people uh, the ability to see. Now, this is where trusting in Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah comes in at because the Lord said that we would, the, those that believe on Him, starting with the prophets, would have the uh, spiritual power and the abilities to do the things that He once did, okay? Uh, and it was Yahweh Shah that uh, the blind literally were able to see again okay this is Matthew chapter 11 I started at 4 it says Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them it says go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see the blind receive their sight and the lame walk the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to him. Okay? They have the gospel preached to them. Alright? And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So Yahweh Shah was going around healing people that were uh, uh, blind. They couldn't see. They couldn't walk. They were crippled. Things like that. But now he has been developing the technology through the microchip implant in order to uh, uh, give sight back to people that he wants to test uh, pursuant to uh, the article I just read uh, on lab mice now and then later on 10 volunteers you know um, so like I said this is in contrast with the power of the Heavenly Father because the Heavenly Father is going to give that same power that Yahweh Shai had 
unto those that uh, have been preaching this gospel. Okay, spiritual power. Yeah, I said that the same works that we see him do, that we will be able to do, and then greater. Okay? Um, so, you know, that's, you know, that's pretty much the point. Um, this system is trying to develop uh, an, an identifying mark through uh, uh, technology in order to to um, achieve their NWO, which is going to fail miserably. Okay, um, and it says that they would install that into their brains, right? And when you read Matthew. Not Matthew, but Revelation 13 and 16 uh, it says to put the mark, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So this is that uh, um, tech that it's talking about. This is the, the, the all right. The mark is technology, okay. Uh, and the consequence for taking that is uh, destruction from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is Revelation 13. In 11, it says, In the smoke of their torment, ascending up forever and ever. So you're going to be tormented. It says, uh, And that's going to be via nuclear destruction. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image. And, whoso and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, whether it's in your right hand or in your forehead. You know, trying to trust in this system that they can. It's something that is, um, it's something that is, um, you know, against the the Holy Spirit. It says now, verse twelve. It says, "Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai." So we gotta have faith in Yahweh Shai that He's going to heal us, and give us power to do these miracles and these things outside of what Esau is developing. Uh, but that's what's to come in the future. Uh, and once that happens, then that's when the Lord is going to rain down fire and brimstone, nuclear destruction on America and destroy this system. And uh, take Esau the wicked out of power and save the elect of so-called black Spans and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Um, but with that, I'm going to end it there. All praise the glory and honor is going to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakodash, the Lawrence, the Apostles, the Elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom.